Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Queen Denise Spence, today is your birthday. Your children, Denisia and Demario, they're asking us to wish you a happy birthday. Let's hope that today you're going to be having a wonderful day. And may you live to see a whole heap more. Queen Denise, <laughs> big up your nice, clean self. Now, are you in or around Montego Bay? Do you want a full body massage? You want to do a back only massage or do you want to do a facial? Look no further. Call or WhatsApp KSR Massage and Spa. They will ensure that you feel relaxed. You are rejuvenated and you are revitalized. You can call or WhatsApp them at 876-896-2198. Eight or eight seven six two one five six three five one. You can also contact them on Instagram at K S R M A S S A G S P A. If you want to feel relaxed, rejuvenated, or revitalized, call or WhatsApp them today. You will not be disappointed. In today's journey. We are now traveling on butter. Well, wait there. Wait there. Let me address something. Let me address something. You see, I noticed that some guys who call themselves men, they are afraid to use the word bottom. You ever notice some guys, instead of saying Montego Bay, them say Galtigo Bay. Instead of them saying Manchester or Mandeville, them say Galchester or Galdeville, them don't even want to say Mike Check anymore. Them say Michelle Check. Why though? Does saying any of those words make a person gay? What kind of foolishness is that? Well, hear me now. Hear me now. I am traveling on a road known as Bottom Road in Montego Bay. It's called the hip strip of Montego Bay. It's formerly known as Gloucester Avenue, but it was renamed Jimmy Cliff Boulevard. So, continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. In today's news, a police officer broke his left ankle at the Clarkstone Police Station in the parish of Trelawney yesterday. This policeman, he's a detective constable, and he's attached to the Falmouth Police Station. We are learning that yesterday afternoon, at minutes after 4 o'clock, the police constable and another policeman, they were having a conversation. We are told that the policeman, he stepped on a closed manhole cover. The manhole cover gave way. As a result, the detective constable, he plunged several feet into the sewer. Police officers at the Clarkstone Police Station, they had to rush to his assistance to prevent him from falling deeper into the sewer. Can you just picture that? The policeman, he was rushed to the Falmouth Hospital where he was treated for a broken ankle. Sad indeed. Now, civil servants and other workers will be paid this week and most likely it will be your last PD before different strokes which will be held at the Waves Beach in Negril on Saturday, November 18. The promoters of different strokes, they think you deserve a reward. So here it is, a PD extension specifically designed for you. Get your early bird tickets by this Friday, October 27. Get your early bird tickets at World of Sports in Negril and Candid Expressions in Savannah Lamar. 
Tickets are also available online at www.differentstrokesjamaica.com. Remember now, Different Strokes is the Big People Party of the Year and it's a mixed drink inclusive event. Don't miss it. In this next story, early yesterday morning, Sunday, October 22, about some minutes to 4 o'clock, a young female JDF soldier, she was fast asleep at her home in the Nightingale Grove area of Bushy Park in the parish of St. Catherine when this young JDF soldier, she was awoken by a guy touching her. The young female soldier, she jumped up and she made an alarm. The hoodlum then punched her in her face. The young JDF soldier, she then sprang into action and she held onto the hoodlum. The hoodlum, he however managed to open the door and ran out of the house, making good his escape. He however ran leaving a jacket that he was wearing. The young female soldier, she had held on to the jacket. The police, they were called and it was discovered that the hoodlum, he had removed the window mesh from the front window and entered the house. See what I'm telling you about leaving your windows open? The hoodlum, he also stole a total of 50,000 Jamaican dollars in cash and two Samsung cellular phones. But hear me now, ladies. Listen to me. You see, if you get a chance to grab onto a hoodlum, don't grab his hands. Don't grab his feet. Try and aim for two places. You know what's those two places? You either aim for his eyes. Or you aim for his seed. You heard that? What did I say you must aim for? Either his eyes or his seed. Don't care how big and mighty a man is. Grab his seeds and see what happens. You notice, I didn't say hold. I said grab. I mean, I talk about grab and squeeze. If you get a chance, grab and squeeze or plunge you know what plunge means got it now in this next story hoodlums they have been targeting this supermarket the latest incident took place yesterday afternoon sunday october 22 about 12 30. this supermarket is operated by two chinese men we are told that one of them is about 57 years old and the other one is about 51 years old now this supermarket is at old green island in the green island area of hanover we are told that both chinese businessmen they were in the supermarket yesterday when a black toyota foxy drove up and stopped three hoodlums came out of the foxy and entered the supermarket they brandished guns and Joke down both Chinese businessmen. They then ordered both men to lie down on the floor. Whilst they were lying on the floor, we are told that one of the hoodlums, he kicked one of the Chinese businessmen in his face, causing a serious wound. The hoodlums, they then proceeded to rob them of cash amounting to over quarter million Jamaican dollars. Four bottles of Hennessy. Five bottles of crown royal four cartons of cigarettes and other items the hoodlums they then exited the supermarket and made good their escape in the toyota voxy just like that in this next story this one took place last night sunday october 22 about seven o'clock it took place at new hope in the little london area of westmoreland we are learning that a man his name is Mr. Michael Nichol, but he was popularly known as Barry. He was born on February 27, 1962, 61 years old, and he was living at Brighton in the Orange Hill area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Barry, he was driving a black Cabra CG200 motorcycle along the New Hope Main Road and at Mr. Barry's age, he was not wearing a helmet. 
Mr. Barry, he collided into a grey Toyota Foxy that was being driven by a lady. As a result, Mr. Barry, he was thrown from the bike and he received serious head injuries. Remember what I told you? Mr. Barry, he was not wearing a helmet. Mr. Barry, he ended up dying as a result of the head injuries that he received. The lady who was driving the Voxy, she was also injured, but she was treated at hospital. Sad indeed. Now, there were some killings over the weekend across Jamaica, and I'm going to tell you about some of them briefly. First up, those three young men on your screen, they are Carlo Faulkner, popularly known as CJ from Paradise Street, Andre Turner, popularly known as Max from John Street, and Shahid Morgan, also known as Tenardo, also from John Street. They are all 19 years old. They were shot and killed by the police in the rear town community early yesterday morning at minutes after 4 o'clock. The police, they are saying that they had gone into the area after two women reported that they were robbed. One of the ladies' phones was tracked to the area. The police, they are claiming that hoodlums fired at them and they returned the fire. The three young guys, they were hit. The police, they are also stating that they seized two illegal guns. Now, Residents of the area, they are claiming that there was no shootout and the young men, they were killed in cold blood. Indicom is investigating. Over in East Kingston, a 35-year-old taxi driver named Andrew Smith, he was living at Whitehall Avenue in the Kingston 18 area. He was shot and killed Saturday night, October 21, about 7 o'clock. He was killed in the vicinity of the gully at First Avenue in the Vineyard Town area. Andrew, he was out on the job when hoodlums robbed him of his Toyota Probox motor car that he used to operate as a taxi. The hoodlums, they then shot and killed him. We are told that the Probox, it was later found abandoned along 3rd Street in the Kingston East area. Over at Spur Tree, in the parish of Manchester. That ex-soldier on your screen. His name is Jethro Driscoll. But he was popularly known as Chris or Soji. He was born on December 23, 1975. Almost 48 years old. And he lived in the Newark Heights area of Spur Tree Hill. Saturday night, October 21. About minutes to 7 o'clock. Soji, he was a patron at the Mystical Bar in the CM Spurtry area when he was attacked and shot by a hoodlum. He ended up dying on this spot. Now, you remember that yesterday? I told you that a guy known as Ben, he was shot and killed early yesterday morning at minutes to 4 o'clock. Ben, he was shot and killed at the Jacksontown Square in the parish of Trelawney. Well, we are learning that his correct name is Ryan Hill. We are told that he was riding his bike along the main road when he was ambushed and killed by hoodlums. So, you know the world famous pudding shop at Priory in the Sentence Bay area? Saturday night, October 21, hoodlums struck. A number of persons were in the pudding shop when two hoodlums entered. The hoodlums, they pulled guns and opened gunfire. The hoodlums, they then escaped in a waiting motor car. We are told that when the smoke was clear, five persons were shot. Dwight Harrison, age 42 years old, of Riverhead in the Manig area, and Nicholas Dobson, age 38 years old, of Priory, they died as a result. 35-year-old Ramon. 24-year-old Davian and 18-year-old Leon, all of Sentan addresses, they were shot and injured. There was another double murder at Dove Street in the Rosetown area of West Kingston. This one took place early yesterday morning. Sunday, October 22, 
about 1 o'clock. Charles Davis, who would be celebrating his 37th birthday on Sunday, coming. He lived in the Riverview Avenue area of Kingston 13 and Maurice Williams. He is 32 years old and he lived at Whitehall District in the parish of St. Thomas. Both of them, they were attacked, shot and killed by hoodlums along the roadway. Yesterday morning also, at minutes after 3 o'clock, the unidentified nude body of a female was found in an advanced state of decomposition in a bed at Garden Close in the St. Benedict's Heights area of Harborview. This female, she was found nude on a bed with her legs wide open. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that man on your screen. His name is Cleveland Hamilton, but he was popularly known as Bayer. Next month, November 6th. Baya, he will be celebrating his 64th birthday. Baya, he's from the Froome area in the parish of Westmoreland, but he was a Canadian citizen. Back in the day, he was popularly known as Jerry Curls. It is said that Jerry Curls, he was a very good footballer, but he was also an enforcer. You know what that means? Well, it is said that for whatever reasons, hoodlums, they wanted Bayer's head bad. In fact, we are told that in the past, a few attempts has been made on Bayer's life. In the last attempt that took place some years ago, Bayer, he was visiting from Canada and either the day that he was supposed to go back to Canada or one or two days before, hoodlums attacked. Shots were fired at Bayer and he was shot in one of his hands. On the early morning of Sunday, September 11, 2022, last year, about some minutes to 1 o'clock, that man on your screen, his name is Kevin Hamilton, but he was popularly known as 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two and three other men, they were coming from the Push nightclub at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland when they were attacked and shot by two hoodlums who escaped on motorcycles. One, two, he died as a result and two of the men were shot and injured. Hear this now. Baya, he is one, two's father. Got it? A guy named Jeffrey Campbell, also known as Rappy. He was arrested and charged for the killing of one, two. Rappy, he's also facing other murder charges. We are told that Bayer, he arrived in Jamaica from Canada about two weeks ago and he was supposed to return to Canada shortly. Well, yesterday afternoon, Sunday, October 22, about 4 o'clock, Bayer and his older brother, he's called Kaka or Wani because he has one eye. He is 68 years old. Both of them, were standing along the roadway at Ricketts River in the Froome area. That's right across from the manager's gate at the Froome Sugar Factory when a motorcycle with two hoodlums aboard drove up from George's Plain direction and stopped. The pillion, he jumped off the bike with a gun in his hand. He immediately opened gunfire, hitting both Bayer and Wani. Bayer, he managed to run off across the road, but the hoodlum, he was following instructions. Make sure Bayer is dead. The hoodlum chased Bayer, still firing shots at him. Bayer, he fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he went over him and put another bullet into Bayer. 
the hoodlum, he then took Baya's gold chain and some money from his pocket. He then jumped back on the bike and he and his crony, they made good their escape towards whence they came from. Baya, he appeared to have died on the spot. His 68-year-old brother, Wani, he received gunshot wounds to his mouth, his neck and two bullets to his chest. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jump, jump. 